Hello everyone, this is Oliver from NEO and today we have a new tea, actually we are launching a new one, it's the Sencha from Masuda, the Wydeen Sencha, so it's um, a really sweet Sencha, especially with a strong character of sweet corn in it, in its taste, so actually I just made the first brewing and I'll show you how uh, the tea looks like. So uh, really beautiful uh, green color after the first brewing. So what you can see is a really nice Yabukita color. In the nose, it has a nice umami smell, green spinach. A little bit of cucumber. and especially like young fresh spinach and cucumber notes. These are the two dominant notes. And now we just uh, taste it. So I'll just show you how it looks like actually, um, how the color of the liquid is, like very nice uh, yellowish, uh, nearly green golden color. So a really beautiful tea just to look at. And now let's have a look how to taste it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So actually, there's a lot of sweetness in the corners, there's a lot of beautiful different tastes. I have the grassiness having in my, in my mouth, you have the sweetness of the umami, so loaded with theanine, and also this beautiful note of the sweet corn coming out. Important with this tea is you really do it at 60 degrees Celsius and you do it at least for two minutes or you do it for two minutes to really let it infuse and give the flavor into the water. Mm -hmm. Especially here in the top here, you really get the sweetness out. I have the grassiness on the top of my uh, tongue. This is also really nice. And there's a small hint of bitterness like very, 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 very slightly. So a very beautiful tea um, to drink. I would say it's um, it's a more of a settled, a more bodied tea. So you have a little bit of more of this way of being, um, being smooth, round with character. So for this, also a good tea, which you can drink in winter time or um, it doesn't have this fresh grassiness like a Shincha has. So it's a really more settled, more full bodied tea. And let's have just uh, the second infusion of this one here. The second one in only for uh, 20 seconds, that's already enough. And then we can get out a beautiful tea second brewing some some teas are really better uh, when they uh, when you taste the second brewing let's look at this one here how it evolved so already color wise it got a little bit darker it lost a little bit of its golden color it lost a little bit um, also on the clearer part so it gets a little bit more dusty a little bit more cloudy uh, the water and uh, let's have a taste Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm. oh, really interesting now with the second tasting. Actually, you got more of the tannins coming in. It gives it a little bit of more dryness. You, it even triggers a little bit of wooden note. This is also very interesting um, here on the second brewing. So it, Again, gains a little bit more in the stringency and dryness especially. So it gets a little bit dry, it gets from this soft sweetness to a little bit more dryness, but still you have a lot of sweetness here, but a little bit on the drier side. Mm -hmm. That's the main change of this one here. It really changes to the drier side. 
it has a, still a, a lot of body, still a lot of smoothness, still a lot of sweetness now coming out. You, you again get this a little bit, this corn taste, but it got much softer. Grassiness is not there anymore, so this grassiness was replaced by a little bit of this wooden note and this wooden a little bit drier note. So very interesting actually. So I would say this tea is really a good pairing with the autumn winter time because it's not so fresh. It is still essential. It is still having this grass note in the first pouring, but now in the second pouring it really went away and you get a little bit of this, this tree bark notes, which is really, really nice in this tea. So for this way, I would say this one here, a good autumn tea, a good one uh, if you want to drink a good sencha in the winter time. So something really, uh, really good. And um, here you can even go up, they say to 80 degrees. I would really uh, use it at 60 degrees and uh, 60 seconds of steeping here. Um, my suggestion is two minutes to really have this good, nice sweetness of the tea in your mouth. Otherwise, it gets a little bit too astringent and the, this dryness and the tannins, they're really coming out. Good. So, this was the tasting of this tea. I hope you liked it. And uh, yeah, that's the one we have for now, this week, on our webshop. Bye.